is the 2017 Chevrolet Camaro SS, the latest and newest example of a legend. It's leaner, meaner and tighter but still brings the thunder. 6.2 litres, 455 horsepower, 455 pounds-foot of tarmac terrorising torque, 4.1 seconds to 100 and a top speed of 266 kilometres per hour. This one's the 50th anniversary edition, finished in smooth nightfall grey metallic with mesh grille and nifty 50 badging all over the car. Fabulous car! But the reason I fell back in love with Camaros was not this car, but the one before it, the 5th gen Camaro. Now, if you've seen previous episodes in this series, you'll know that the transformation occurs about now. OMG, the car has changed. I guess my clothes didn't change because six years ago I was wearing pretty much the same style of clothes. In fact, these might actually be the clothes I was wearing at the launch. So the 2010s then, well, we're still in them. And let's be honest, this decade kind of sucks. SMH. Terrorism, wars, global economic misery, deadly epidemics, greenhouse gases, look at me selfies, banal social media, Justin Bieber and endless movie reboots. I mean, WTF, right? Talking of reboots though, we also got the return of the Pony Car Wars, which was so much more awesome than Avengers Civil War and Batman v Superman put together. On the plus side, we've had huge advances in technology this decade, and that also means IMO, the fastest and most powerful muscle cars ever. Oh, just checking my Snapchat because, well, that's what you do these days, isn't it? I better tell you a little bit more about the car, but first, let me take a selfie. Earlier gen Camaras were a happy accident of bits of other models being brought together to create the magic. Muscle cars were so much more than the sum of their parts, but almost by chance. In contrast, a lot of time, energy, thought and investment, as well as an epic global effort, went into the birth of this Camaro. It was designed by South Korean-born Sang Yap Lee, developed in Australia and built in Canada. Forget the futuristic 4th gen edition, this one's more like the original 60s car, with the inset grille and headlights, long bonnet, short rear deck and mock side vents. It was retro done right, winning the World Car Design of the Year award in 2010. Oh cool, I got a load of likes on my selfie. Maybe I should do another one in the car. Huh. It was also a big star in a certain blockbuster movie about cars turning into robots and smashing the bejesus out of each other. <laughs> movie fame and the fact that it was so well engineered guaranteed success. In fact, from the start of production to the end of 2010, they sold over 140,000 of these, easily outselling its famous arch nemesis. It was offered with a couple of V6s and of course, a 6.2 litre V8 putting out 400 brake horsepower in SS guise. In fact, if you opted for the manual, you were rewarded with an extra 26 brake horsepower. My favorite though was the mighty and mental ZL1 edition launched in 2012. Chevrolet supercharged the 6.2, turning it into a barely controllable beast of a thing. This one's a 2013 model belonging to James Vijay Singer, who's actually tweaked it a little bit more because he actually takes this drag racing. <laughs> As standard, the ZL1 got a bulging bonnet, a deeper front splitter, a rear diffuser and 20-inch rims. Inside, you had leather and suede, a flat bottom steering wheel, heads-up display and a nine-speaker sound system, although why you would need that with an exhaust note like this, IDK. There is relentless thrust, the same magnetized suspension you get on Ferraris and great handling, plus lots of screech and smoke. This thing will power slide anytime, anywhere. The ZL1 has so much God-given torque that no man-made electronics can contain it. Long live the muscle car, hashtag yeehaw. I love this thing. Wait, what? I'm in the 2017 car again. I gotta say though, this SS is as quick as the old ZL1. Remember, it's smaller and it weighs less. BTW, the next ZL1 will have 650 brake horsepower. That's crazy, right? But hey, YOLO, innit? Anyway, there has never been a Camaro as well sorted as this. It's a clean sheet design that represents not just a new generation, but a whole new level of evolution. No more excuses. 
This Camaro is the perfect tribute to a remarkable 50-year heritage. I'm gonna go drive into the sunset now. Cue the music. Filming has been temporarily stopped by the camel invasion. We've been overrun with camels. He's just plain dead. Come on, camel, camel, camel. Camel! How's your walk today? You enjoying it? You don't say much. What do you reckon? Do you like it? What do you think? You're not impressed with the car, are you? Any of you guys? 